All right, everyone, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna to share with you how to create customized templates inside of Simple Practice. You can see we've actually already got Simple Practice pulled up. We're gonna dive right in. Um, and a customized template, uh, you might need this for several reasons. Maybe you have a customized uh, therapy note template. Uh, maybe you have a lawyer who wrote your intake packet. You want that inside Simple Practice. You have a customized treatment plan. Uh, a, a customized template inside Simple Practice is basically gonna be your ability to take any form that you have uh, you know, whatever that might be, and then add it into simple practice so that you can use it in your own practice. So most of the time people have like customized individual notes that a lawyer wrote, intake packets, that kind of thing. All right. Um, so it's not the most difficult thing to do, but it can be a little tedious and cumbersome to figure out. So that's why we're going to go through step by step today. And let's just jump right in. And to put you at ease, this is a dummy account. There is no real information in here. All right, so we're gonna log into Simple Practice. It's gonna look like this. The first thing we're gonna do is go to the left-hand side, click that gear icon. This brings up the settings. We're now gonna go into the client care section on the left-hand side again, click documentation. And then finally, we're gonna click template library, okay? Um, and now just to give a high-level overview here, we have a couple of different subsections. So we have scored measures. This is a fairly new feature in Simple Practice. You can't customize it, so we'll leave it alone for now. We have the intake form section. So this is gonna be like notice of privacy practices, consent forms, basically where your intake packet would be. We have the progress note section, right? So, <coughs> excuse me, soap notes, um, intake notes, this kind of thing. Uh, we have a treatment plan section and we have an other document section where miscellaneous documents, good faith estimate, maybe your own, maybe you have your own scales and tools that you have, you can put that in here as well. Um, and those three or those four you can customize, right? And the way you customize is gonna be the same for all of them. Uh, so for today's video, we'll do a progress note example, but if you can do a progress note, you can do the rest, okay? Um, the other thing is you'll notice that Simple Practice has a good deal of uh, pre-built templates. Um, you can use those. I always recommend checking them out before you build out your own, just to see if there's something that you would want to use in here, um, especially if it's like a standardized scale or tool like PHQ9, GAD7. You don't need to build that from scratch. They already have it. But if it's your own intake packet from a lawyer or um, your own therapy note template, most likely you'll have to build it out from scratch because it's yours, right? So if you wanted to browse the pre-built templates, go ahead and click this blue button here. Uh, but for today, we'll do a build new template from scratch, right? So we click the gray button. And then the first thing we need to do is just name the template. Let's just call this progress notes. Uh, there's a display name prompt as well. Um, usually I just name this the same thing. And the display name is essentially like if you print this out or you share this with someone, uh, that's the name that'll be on there. Um, again, I pretty much keep it the same. Now the important part here is the selecting the template type. Right, so uh, this will impact how you're able to use the template inside of Simple Practice. So for example, if you're creating an intake note um, and you label it as an intake form, then when you send your packet to people in Simple Practice through the portal, you'll be able to select this form there, right? But if you make a progress note template, you won't be able to send that in the intake packet because it's not part of it. So you wanna make sure you label it correctly. So for this video, we're gonna do a progress note. Right? So when we go into our client calendar and we open up their note, underneath the different templates, our progress note will be there when we finish it. So make sure you push progress note. And now we have this blank canvas essentially, okay? Now, uh, the way we start is we go one by one. This is where it gets a little tedious and a little cumbersome. And I'm assuming you have your, uh, your template already. Maybe it's in a Word document or you have it on paper. Um, and we have to go section by section, all right? So what we're gonna do uh, is click add new, and then we have our prompts here. Um, and if you click that drop down, this is gonna give you all the different options for creating your customized forms. Um, I think the best way to do this, we'll just do one of each so you can see what they look like and I'll explain it along the way. And then at the end, we will go ahead and do a preview and you can see what they look like in real time. Okay, so the first one would be a long answer. And essentially what a long answer is, you would add a prompt. Let's just say it's gonna be upbringing, right? So this would be the question or what you're asking the client and you would see upbringing. Uh, and then for long answer, multiple line text, it's basically just a big text box and you could enter whatever, you can take like really uh, detailed notes in there, just free form, right? Um, so that would be 
what long answer is. We'll click save and it will, it will put it here, right? You'll see it. Add new. The next option is a short answer, uh, similar to long answer, except instead of having a big box, you have a small single line text box um, for, I don't know, for the video, let's just kind of keep saying uh, upbringing, right? If I can even spell it, um, we'll click save and now we see it. The third option would be single choice radio buttons. And a radio button is essentially when you have like a static answer. Um, so maybe, I don't know, maybe you might have these on mental status exams. You might have this, uh, you, and a good example would be like, if you have a PHQ nine, right? There's only, you don't make up the answer. There's just a certain, like it's zero, one, two, or three. Um, and you can't choose two, you, you just choose one of them. So just for the sake of the video, let's just say upbringing again, that's just a prompt. And then we have to choose an answer, right? So let's just test, uh, test, uh, I don't know, test, it doesn't really matter, right? But put three options in there. So these would be the three options or three selections. Uh, and then from there, you can add as many as you'd like. Uh, and then you'll notice that this populates no free text field or this kind of other drop down next to each answer. Uh, when we click that, if you have no free text field, then it's just the radio button. That's really the only thing you can choose. Um, but if you choose allow one line of response, it gives you this ability to kind of type an additional note next to that radio button. This will make a little more sense when we actually see it. Um, but let's populate it so you can see what it looks like. And then it asks you to do the free text label. Um, this would look like something, this is like basically an instruction, right? So let's just put add more info and you'll see what that looks like in a bit. And then there's allow multi-line response. So it had, instead of having a single line where you can add more detail, it's gonna be a bigger box, right? So we'll do um, add more detail, uh, just to kind of put that in there. And we're gonna click save. So that's our radio buttons. And just to pause for a second, you now see we have our three different sections here. Uh, one's a long answer, one's a short answer, one's single choice. Now, if we wanted to edit this later on, uh, we can do that a couple ways. We can rearrange it by just grabbing the three little lines and moving it. So maybe you need to reorder it at some point. You can obviously delete it on the right hand side. And if you need to edit it later, you just simply click in and edit. Just make sure you push save, okay? So let's keep going. We now have our multiple choice. This is gonna be similar to radio buttons, but it's gonna be check boxes. So again, let's just put upbringing. Uh, and then we're gonna choose uh, answers again, okay? Um, let's just put a couple here. So we have some examples. Uh, we'll put test. And then once again, we have this uh, no free text field, uh, one line, multiple line, same exact thing as radio buttons. If you need to add more, um, you know, more information, then you might wanna add that. But for now, let's click save. Um, let's keep working our way through here. We now have short answers, uh, short answers question groups. So this is gonna be like multiple choice, but instead of making a single selection, you can type things in. So again, let's just push upbringing or type that in. It really could be whatever you want. Let's just do test. Uh, let's add another one. Let's do test. Let's add another and let's do test again. Um, and this is gonna give us two options uh, additional. So we have short text entry, right? It's gonna give you a single line or we have a drop down autocomplete, all right? And we're just gonna put, um, add more info. And again, we'll see this in a little bit live, okay? We're gonna push save. And then we have our drop down selection, right? So we can uh, click this uh, and let's just again, add upbringing. I can't spell, but that's okay. We don't need to for this video. We're gonna push test, test and test. Thank you for bringing with me. I know that part is, uh, boring, so let's go ahead and save that. Um, and now we have our date field. This is really uh, self, it's just a date field, right? So let's just put due date. So sometimes we have treatment plans or, or maybe a date, an event happened. We can push that and we'll save it, okay? So that's all of the options. We'll see those in a second. Now let's take a look at these three down here. So we have something called paragraph text. Uh, and this is where you're not asking any questions, but you're able to kind of like add maybe a bit of detail or a prompt to a question or something like that. So just for the sake of the video, let's put something like, don't forget to uh, ask about a mental status, right? Uh, history. I'm just making this up, okay? Um, so let's just save that here. Um, and what we could do, we can move this around, right? So let's just move it right below the first one. So when we do the preview, you can see what that looks like because it's gonna display as instructions. All right, um, and then we have 
the section header, right? So let's just call this social section. Uh, and again, this should just be the title. So here that is right here. Let's just move that all the way to the top so we can see what that looks like. And then finally, we have our final uh, selection, which is section break. Again, this just makes a faint gray line, creating separation. Let's save that. And let's go ahead and just drop that underneath the instruction section so we can see it. Now, all we need to do after this, once we're done, we can click save and it should give us a preview button. Sometimes it doesn't and we'll have to do something else, but let's click save and it brings us back to the template library. It almost looks like things have disappeared, but do not fret, they have not. Remember, we created a progress note. We called it progress note. So it's right here. Let's go ahead and we can click the preview button, which is this little eyeball. We're gonna go ahead and click that. And now you can see here our note, right? So if you can see, we have, um, actually, hold on. This is one I made earlier. Let me come out of that one. It's this second one here. I should have titled it something a little different. So here we are, right? So we have our title, social. You can see that here, right? That was the heading we put in. Uh, and now we have our long form answer, right? Which is a big text box. We have the instructions right here, which is not any question, but it's just those instructions that you can put underneath the question. We have our faint gray line, right? This is the section break. Um, we have a short answer, single line text right here. We have our radio buttons. Now, remember, we it's a single selection, but if we, we did that one where there's a single select with no additional field, we did this one where there is an additional field. And remember, we added the, the little text that says add more info. So maybe someone selects that and we want to add, I don't know, more stuff, right? And then we had this one, same thing, but it's a larger text box when you click the radio button, okay? Um, we have the multiple choice. Again, you can select more than one, which makes it different than radio, where you can only select one, but multiple choice, right? You can select more than one, okay? We have the um, multiple options, but text box version, right? Uh, so you can see that here. Uh, we also did that one to add the drop down, which could be add more info, which just allows you to populate it automatically, right? Uh, we have our drop down. Remember, we made that. And then we have our due date where we click that and we can select a date. And there you have it. We've now created a customized template. We've gone through every single selection. Um, and that is pretty much how you would go about doing this. I hope this made things clear for you. I hope you learned something. I know it is a little bit tedious and you're maybe thinking, I wish there was an easy way to do it. As of now, this is what we got. Um, but it's pretty cool because you can pretty much take any template and customize it and add it into Simple Practice. And then once you have this, when you go into your Simple Practice account, um, we can go, you know, maybe we can actually, let's, let's actually test that real quick. We can go to uh, Robin. Uh, let's go to add note and underneath our selection, right? Progress note, we click the drop down. Our progress note is right here and you can see it, right? So this is how cool that is, right? Um, again, hope you learned something. I hope that uh, this inspires you to make your own custom forms um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video.